What is up guys, today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through kind of how I would now with the knowledge that I have deal with the ups and downs of the season. There's obviously a lot of different peaks and valleys that you guys will kind of go through, a lot of great moments throughout the season, a lot of down parts to the season. So kind of just take you guys through the mental frameworks of how to deal with that, how to stay a little more even keel so we're not going super high, super low. We kind of want to just be a little bit more here throughout the season. That's going to help us not only perform better, have a better experience. So with that said, let's get to it. Before we get into the video, actually, we are going to be doing a giveaway for a free 30 minute consultant call during the season for you guys. So if you're going through those ups and downs, we will get on a call, we will talk about it, we'll talk about how to deal with it, things you guys can improve on throughout your season, workouts that you guys can do, all that kind of good stuff. So again, we'll announce the rules in the middle of the video. The number one rule that I would say to deal with the ups and downs a little bit better throughout the season is to not care as much about basketball. I know that is the toughest thing to hear and doesn't really make the most sense, right? How do we perform better? You feel like you need to care more. But when you look at the best players, they just look like they're having fun, right? Life is so much more than just basketball and that everything that you do care about you tie all your emotions to how you play on the court you are going to be in trouble and you're simply not going to be able to play as well you need to get out there and in a way not care not care about how you're playing or not not care about basketball but just not care necessarily about the results go out there you're going to work your ass off you work your ass off all year now it's time to just go out and have fun enjoy the game the more you guys can do that the less you're gonna attach yourselves to the results and the more relaxed you're gonna be able to play. You can't let one day, a couple shots ruin your entire mentality. You can't let it ruin your entire game. You can't let it ruin an entire week. So just trying to take that persona of, it's just basketball, I don't really care. How I play is how I'm gonna play. And again, have fun, it's a game, enjoy it, life is short. Way number two that I would deal with the ups and downs of the season is to zoom out a little bit, both when you play good and when you play bad. You have a really bad game, zoom out. This is one day in a year, in a five year journey. If you guys are a freshman in high school and your goal is to play for the next 10, 15, 20 years, play pro, it's just one day over 10, 20 year career that you have left. It's not gonna make or break it. Now, should you look at it analytically? How can I get better? How can I do this? Absolutely. Great players are not built on one performance. Bad players are not built on one performance. It's over time and that consistency. So if you have one bad game, all right, cool. Come back the next day, have a better game. It's that consistency that really matters. Same thing, just because you have one great game doesn't mean you're the best player in the world. World, you got to do it over a long period of time. Tip number three is say you have a bad game, you're not playing good, kind of take a step back and just sit there and reflect on your past offseason, all the work that you put in or didn't put in for some players, and just kind of visualize that, all the work that you put in, the reps that you got, the ups, the downs of the offseason, when you felt like you weren't getting something, when you felt like you really did get something. All right, go back and visualize all the work that you guys put in and remember that you are prepared for this moment. You have put the work in, you deserve to be successful. Because sometimes it's tough, right? You get in that negative feedback loop, or oh, I have a bad day that turns into a bad week and then you kind of forget who you are as a player. You forget the work that you put in. You forget that you deserve to be in the position that you guys are in. So take that step back, sit there, visualize, close your eyes for 10 minutes, go through the whole summer, the whole spring, the whole off season, all the stuff that you've dealt with to get to this point right here and realize, again, you are prepared for this moment. You guys are a good player and you have put the work in and when you kind of just realize that it'll give you a little bit of a boost of confidence and help you guys kind of just move forward in the right direction point number four is just get back out on the court go have fun right the season is a very long strenuous process there's a lot of stress involved there's a lot of negativity involved right you have bad games you, you don't like your coach you don't like some of your teammates it's very easy to have it feel like a job you show up every day at the same time you got to do this you got to do that and you forget that why you started playing basketball in the first place is because you love it and because it's fun say you have a day off saturday go play pickup with your friends at a park go play pickup at the ymca and just have fun and get back to your roots of why you're playing basketball in the first place get in the gym blast some music do some ball handling drills shoot around have fun pretend you're in a game do all that kind of good stuff and again, I promise you this will help you enjoy the game a little bit more, build some of that confidence, and just look at the game in a completely different light. If you had a bad game, if you had a bad week, do that. I promise you guys it will help you. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway for the free 30-minute consultant call during the season, all you guys have to do is drop a comment. Let me know where you guys are from in the world, city, state, and then also what team you guys are playing on this winter. Let's get back to the video. The last point I would say is just try to really focus on controlling what you guys can control. If you had a bad game, put it in the past. Now, not just saying completely forget about it, but analyze, get a journal, get the film out. How can I do better? How can I, from this point forward, fix 
what already happened? Do I need to get in the gym more? Do I need to put up more shots? Should I do a little bit more ball handling? Am I not communicating on defense? Why is this happening, right? Analyze very honestly where you guys are at, the mistakes that you guys have made, what's going good, what's going bad, and just realize that you cannot change the past. You can only change the future. So take everything that you guys have learned, the ups, the downs, how can I get better from here? How can I control what I can control and allow that to move me in the right direction? Whether that's getting the gym more, whether that's getting more sleep, eating better, drinking more, whatever it may be, how can I do that and control that, right? Because it's very easy, there's so many things throughout the season that are outside of your control. But when you can sit there and say, I control this, I'm gonna do this to the best of my ability, that's gonna help you feel just a little bit more confident and secure that you're doing everything that you can do. You can control the habits, the actions that you guys are taking every day. And if you're doing that to the best of the ability, know it's moving you in the right direction, you guys can at least sleep at night knowing, okay, maybe I didn't play my best, but I did everything that I possibly could to prepare and to play my best. So things aren't always gonna work out. The season is not all sunshine and rainbows. There's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs. That's just the way it is. Hopefully these tips helped you guys. Please drop a comment below. We would really appreciate it. With that said, see you in the next video. Peace.